download the Safe Exam browser from safeexam.org. Safeexambrowser.org. And so I'm just going to go to that website so you can see. And you want to do a download, and the students will need to do this also. And they'll need to decide which kind of computer they're looking at, the Windows, or if they're looking at a Mac. So I'm going to download the one for Windows. It says my download will start shortly. So you're just going to follow the directions as you would for any download. So I'm going to select Run. I'm going to let it do its thing. So depending on what browser you're in, you may have to look for your download. If you're in Mozilla, you know, it's in the right-hand corner of your screen. Um, if you're not sure where it is, just go into your download file, and there's my Safe Exam Browser installer. So I'm going to click on it and let it do its installation. Once it finishes, you're going to need to, and the student, will need to accept the terms of the licensing agreement. and let it finish its installation. And you may have to search for it if you don't know where um, things go on your computer. On a Windows, you could go under All Programs and then go, you're looking for the Configuration Tool, so I'm going down to this folder because I'm sure that it has multiple items in it. And I'm going to click on the Configuration Tool first. You and the student will need to do this. You'll have to go through this. So I'm going to open it up. And in the start URL, this is where you'll need to tell it that we're going to our website that has our Moodle rooms on it. And this is at the address that both you and the student would need to type in there. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash cccti.mrooms.net and you want to uncheck the box that says ignore the exit keys and then you want to save the settings and you want to exit. Now this is everything that you need in order to run that so I'm going to go back to Moodle. So let's open Moodle back up. Oops. So let's go back to my Moodle course and I'm going to go back to my course and I'm going to go in as a student now. And I'm going to go down to that quiz. I'm going to click on it and it is going to it says here that it's configured so that students can only attempt it in the Safe Exam browser. So if you just go back into Moodle where you were before, you're not in the actual browser. So let me log out so you can see what it looks like from there. Go back to my normal role. I'm going to log out. And I'm actually going to open the Safe Assign browser. To use the Safe Assign browser, or Safe Exam Browser, you will go to your browser, just like we talked about a minute ago. So I'm going to go up to the browser. Let's, see, let's find it. Here it is. Once the browser is open, the student will take the quiz normally. They will not be able to copy and paste. They will not be able to print screen. They will not be able to open a new tab. They will only have access to the quiz. Um, and then they will be able to submit their quiz, and at that point, they will be able to log out or X out of the screen.